Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic problem. So we have 2x plus 4 factorial is equal to 120. Now 120, this is the same thing as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? And, well, this is simply just 5 factorial because it's 5 times itself minus 1 going on until 1. So this is simply just equal to 5 factorial, meaning 120 is 5 factorial. So now we have 2x plus 4 factorial is equal to 5 factorial. And we can simply just cancel out these factorials. So now we are left with 2x plus 4 is equal to 5. Now if I subtract 4 on both sides, I get 2x is equal to 1, meaning x is equal to one half. And now let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it's right. So we're going to plug in x for one half. So we have two times one half plus four factorial is equal to 120. Now, 2 times 1 half is simply just 1, so we have 1 plus 4, which is 5 factorial is equal to 120, and 5 factorial is indeed 120, so 120 is equal to 120. So because this is right, we know our answer is x equals 1 half. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 2024 is equal to 2024. Now, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to let x to the power of 2024 equal to the variable a. So now I'm going to take the power of 1001 over 2024 on both sides from here. So now we have x to the power of 2024 to the power of 1 over 2024 is equal to a to the power of 1 over 2024. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 2024 to the power of 1 over 2024. Well, 2024 times 1 over 2024, these two simply cancel out, and it's simply just 1. So we have x to the power of 1, which is the same thing as x is equal to a to the power of 1 over 2024. 
So now, going back to our equation here, we have x to the power of x to the power of 2024 is equal to 2024. And if, if I plug in a to the power of 1 over 2024 for x, I get a to the power of 1 over 2024 to the power of a to the power of 1 over 2024 to the power of 2024. And now this is equal to 2024. Now remember, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, meaning a to the power of 1024 to the power of a to the power of 1024 to the power of 2024. Well, 2024 times 1 over 2024, these two cancel out, and it's simply 1. So now we get a. to the power of 1 over 2024 to the power of A is equal to 2024. Now, if I take the power of 2024 on both sides, then this would make these two cancel out, and I would simply get a to the power of a is equal to 2024 to the power of 2024. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of A is equal to B to the power of B. And this means that A is equal to B. So in this case, this means that A is equal to 2024. And although we have a solution, A is not what we're looking for. We're looking for the value of X. So as we know, x is equal to 1 over 2024, or sorry, 2024 to the power of 1 over 2024. So this means that because we already have our value for a, x is equal to 2024 to the power of 1 over 2024. So this is our answer. Yeah.